Metroid hasn't had another amazing game for years. These 2D games were sparse and few between, but finally we got Metroid Dread, another amazing game, another entry into the series that has done fantastic among fans and newcomers alike. But one thing that's interesting to me is that it also came with a couple amiibo that you could purchase separately from the game. But on sites like Instagram and Twitter, I also noticed a lot of people displaying these things. Well, Rose Colored Gaming, a manufacturer of display stands for retro games and modern games, also caught their eye onto this as well. And they came up with this crazy display stand for both amiibos. But how crazy? Holy chicken cacciatore. Well, to answer how crazy they got with this display stand, just take a look at this. This absolute stunner of a display stand is through the roof nuts. And I can't help but smile when I'm looking at this display stand because there are so many pieces and everything here is designed to show two amiibo, which is crazy. It's actually crazy to think that Two Amiibo got such a display, so much behind them, but it has been a long time since we've had an amazing 2D Metroid game. So this is a great way to kind of celebrate that. Now to get started on this display, we can talk about what it's made out of and a little bit of the attention to detail when it comes to the art of this display. First of all, it's made out of acrylic. Most things from Rose Colored Gaming, aside from a couple things that they have there are gonna be made out of acrylic. Acrylic is generally very stiff, but also brittle. So it's not something you wanna be pressing on or twisting or bending or doing any of that stuff with because it's going to shatter on you. But it makes great for displays because you can make these really shiny, beautiful displays out of it. You can have clear pieces to it that make it so the light is kind of bent through them and shows off the colors that are in your acrylic. There's a lot of things that make acrylic better than just your standard plastic. Now from some somewhat careful counting, I found that there's 18 different pieces of acrylic put into here. This is one big puzzle that has been put together. Some of the pieces are put together for you in advance. Uh, I believe they're glued together, but for the most part, you're gonna be putting this together on your own. Which brings me to another point. One of my favorite things about Rose Colored Gaming lately is that they've made it way easier to put these things together the correct way the first time. When you first open up the box with the pieces of this display in it, you'll find a QR code code printed on a piece of paper at the very top. So you can take that code, you can scan it, and it brings you directly to a video of them slowly showing you how to put this thing together. And it's quite easy putting this together. At any at entry level, you'll be putting this together no problem. This certainly isn't you putting together some sort of giant Gundam thing with millions of pieces and painting each piece. This is a very small, uncomplicated process. Now getting to the overall structure of this, clearly you have three different tiers for this stand. You have one that's the base, it's not gonna hold any amiibo, it's not for anything, but holding up the other two tiers that are there. The base is made out of three layers of acrylic. It has a piece that's sandwiched in that is blue that kind of lights up when you have LEDs in your space or if there's any lighting behind this. It kind of carries the light through and makes this really cool effect. And that carries on to the other two tiers where you'll actually have the amiibo you can see that colored piece of acrylic kind of sandwiched in between the two black pieces of acrylic. And that's there to kind of catch the light and add that kind of effect, that, that ambiance to this whole display as it is. Now the top two tiers have an orange and a green piece of acrylic sandwiched in there. And that kind of adds to the whole effect. They're definitely getting these colors from the game, trying to, to make this really tie into Metroid Dread and feel like it's part of that world. And as a cool bonus, that colored acrylic is also showing those colors when you do not have the amiibo on the stand. So you'll see that orange and that green circle sitting there while you're going to put your amiibo on top. It just looks really good. Now when it comes to the top layer of all of the acrylic pieces and even some of the side pieces on this kind of pillar on the top of the display stand, you'll find all these little shapes, these circles, these lines that kind of attribute to the game. They, they look like they are part of Metroid Dread and really tie into it. And all of those little design features, all those beautiful lines that they've put around here, all of the additional details that they've added on top of that acrylic or all UV prints. So they've used a UV printer to add these onto the display to add this extra little flare and effect. It's definitely a really cool display stand because I found myself looking at this thing quite often, looking at all the little details that they'd added on the edges and around the lines. This thing kind of has this cool sports car effect where you're just looking at those lines going down that beautiful car and this thing is super good. And what's kind of crazy to me is that they've done all of this stuff, they've added all these different features and these colors and these things on here, but somehow this thing still kind of 
fits in. It's not sticking out. It's not some super crazy thing. It's certainly different than your typical display stand that's designed to kind of not be on display and display the items itself at the forefront. This is just subdued, but with a lot of little details in there to make it kind of exciting when you get up and close with it. Which brings me to a very interesting point. This thing can fit most places in your game space. You could put this on your standard shelf and it should slide right in there without a problem. It's smaller than it looks in a lot of the pictures that are out there because we're kind of zoomed in when we're taking pictures of them. I've certainly been at fault of taking a ton of awesome pictures of this display because I just can't stop looking at the thing. It's certainly gonna look really cool in front of some lighting. If you have some backlit cabinets or some lights in the back of a room, you may put this in front of it and it's gonna really light up all those clear pieces. In fact, Rose Color Gaming had plans, and may still have plans to make an electric one of these and make a very limited quantity of them that has a light inside of it that lights up all these clear pieces of acrylic and just makes this thing completely glow. I'll definitely be signed up for that one if it ever comes around and I'll get it on the channel as soon as possible. Very excited to, to see if that ever comes to fruition or if it kind of ends up falling to the back there. And as some of you know on this channel, I like to cover display stands and display ideas for your game collection, storage ideas, anything that you put games into or displays into or figures into or anything for your game room I like to cover. So I'm always looking at Rose Colored Gaming, for instance, and their displays and what they're coming out with and what is new. And I've definitely noticed the pattern of making some of these more artistic displays in addition to some of their subdued, more clear acrylic displays that blend in with your environment. Certainly in this case, they went up and beyond to make something very unique that's it's for two Amiibo. This display is for two Amiibo. It's crazy, it's absolutely beautiful. I would definitely recommend this display to people who are all about Metroid. Maybe you have a Metroid shrine shelf that's dedicated to all the Metroid games that have come out to date. This might be a great addition to that as like a centerpiece for that display. It looks like it belongs there. It, it's absolutely fantastic. But overall, this is really easy to put together. It comes in really good packaging, has some amazing colors and designs and additions to this that you would never see in a normal, just basic display. Rose Color Gaming knocked it out of the park, so it's it's just really cool. But outside of that, if you guys have any other display ideas that you find along the way and you don't find on my channel, please feel free to tag me on Twitter or Instagram at discard guy or leave a comment on a video and I'm always checking those comments out all the time trying to find other cool displays that exist out there for different things or even very unique or niche things but I appreciate you coming and checking out the video today if you like this video please leave a like on the video if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to the channel you can always search on YouTube typing in whatever item you want to display and typing in discard afterwards and more than likely a video will pop up I've been doing this for four years now but thanks to you guys for doing all those things the comments the 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 likes, the, the hitting the bell, all that stuff promotes the channel. It makes the channel go bigger and, and stronger and we get a, a lot more people watching the videos which helps me to get more displays and more storage solutions and get into some bigger things later. I have a lot of plans for this channel so thank you guys very much. Outside of that, I hope you have a fantastic day today and collect what you love.